Over the years, some Spinosaurus bones have turned up. Oh, wow. Isolated pieces, mostly found by amateur fossil hunters and sold to private collectors on the black market. Spinosaurus fossils are very rare. Teeth are actually fairly common find, but an associated skeleton, several bones that belong to the same animal, that's something that happens once every hundred years. Historically, the fossilized remains of dinosaurs have been difficult to find in the deserts of North Africa because of the vast distances and harsh conditions. Then, a breakthrough. Cristiano del Sasso at the Natural History Museum in Milan receives a large collection of bones from an Italian fossil trader. He's told they're from Morocco, likely spirited out illegally. Suspecting the bones might be from a Spinosaur, Cristiano quickly connects with Nizar, knowing he's been obsessing over Spinosaurus bones for years. I was just amazed. It was, you know, a difficulty uh, breathing. I was just thinking, my God, is this what I think it is? The team could see immediately that some of the new bones matched the ones in Stromer's old photographs, especially those characteristic spines. But now they had new bones, feet, hand, and thigh bones, pieces from the back of the skull, the makings of an animal more bizarre than even Stromer could have imagined. But the partial skeleton is missing a crucial piece of information, the exact location where it was found. As Nizar studies the bones, he notices something familiar. The cross sections of the spine have unusual reddish lines running through them, perhaps fossilized traces of blood vessels. No one knows exactly what they are, but to Nizar, they are an important clue in his quest to understand Spinosaurus. He remembers seeing, even photographing, similar bones in Morocco a few years earlier. I thought, this is something I've seen before. I've seen a small chunk of bone, just like that one. And I thought, wow, I wonder if this is maybe the same specimen. If this is the same specimen and the bones match, Nizar might be able to track down the fossil hunter who dug them up. The only person who could take the team to the exact spot where the bones were pulled from the ground. It's a long shot, but worth a trip. Next stop the fossil markets of Erfoud, Morocco.